It's often said that motivation is what gets you started and habit is what keeps you going. As an online business owner, we have so many different balls in the air, so many plates to spin, and it can get a little bit overwhelming. Um, as I run two businesses and have two little children, I thought it might be helpful to show you the way that I manage things um, and just do a short video in case it helps you. I'm Lucy Wheeler, the founder of Lucy Legal, uh, one of the UK's fastest growing template shops. For entrepreneurs, we have a whole host of online uh, legal templates that you can purchase and pop into your business um, and transform it and give you the opportunity to feel more protected, to be more professional, to actually deliver a higher level of service. But right now, I don't want to talk to you about legal. I want to talk to you about running your business in a way that feels good for you and doesn't feel like you're always chasing your tail. So I use time blocking and if you've watched any of my other videos you might have heard me talk about time blocking before. Time blocking is essentially um, looking at your diary and realising how many hours across the week you've got to do tasks and then putting in the tasks into those blocks. Sounds pretty easy really um, when we put it like that but it means things like working on, uh, blocking out time say for behind the business tasks. Um, that might be things like um, administrative details. It might be something that you're saying, that's, well, that's my social media, that's my email marketing. So you may have a block of an hour for marketing. And within that, you know you've got to write all of your social copy for the week or the month or um, all of your email marketing. And you may want to start batching things up. And it's a really great way to, um, to work on your time and, and work out how long things take you. If you've ever worked with a lawyer before, traditionally lawyers invoice per every six minutes. So they call it a unit, a unit of time. They invoice you every six minutes they're working on something. And as a lawyer, you therefore have a really unique um, sense of time and how long things take you. So time blocking is really, really great because you then know, well, yeah, I'm gonna spend this amount of time on, let's keep using social media as an example. If you're someone who is not managing to market their business effectively, it's because you haven't dedicated that time to, to doing that. And if you've got a block of time in your diary all of the time and you get to Tuesday at 2 p.m. and you're like, ah, I'm, I'm, I've got loads of client work I've got to do. You haven't properly looked at your time and capacity planned for how many clients you can take on because you can also use time blocking to pop in the times when you'll be working on clients. And we all know that it's not as easy as saying, oh, I've got an hour consultation with a client or a coaching session or whatever service you deliver, I've got to create graphics or a website for them, that'll take me an hour. It isn't just pop an hour of time in, it's all of that additional client care time where you're emailing them, where they ask for additional things, where you're chasing them for something. Um, what you need to kind of work that through as well in your diary about when are you going to go back to people? When are you going to pick up emails? Have you got a block of time for that too? So one of the most powerful, powerful things I did in my business was wrote down the bigger chunks of tasks. So I put things like marketing and didn't go into all the specifics, but marketing, client care work, um, updates and things that I needed to do. Um, and I broke down all the different tasks. So when I say updates, I mean of our product, so product development work. Um, and I put the, the bigger blocks of tasks in and then started feeding in the little ones too. I then created a sort of plan and a framework, which was an A week and a B week, so that maybe I would work on social media, for example, or my email marketing, and I'd do two weeks worth of things. Um, and I do those two weeks. So then when the next week that time slot came up, I'd be doing something different. And I'd really be able to, instead of having an hour here and an hour there, I found it worked better for me to have two hours focused on that time and do two weeks worth of things to really get things done, really move things forward. And it's this um, skill and this approach which helps me to ensure that I am more visible, that I do have um, social posts going out, that we're doing the YouTube videos. And it was that thing, that approach as well, when I was looking at preparing my business, it was for maternity leave, but this is for you if you take, wanna take a time out of the business, you can look at it and go, right, which of these tasks do I need to be doing? Um, and I was like, which of these tasks do I need to be doing? This is the list. 
which of these tests do I want to continue to do? And unfortunately for me, some of my YouTube videos, I was like, I can't prioritize that right now because for a start, I might have a screaming baby in the house. So I definitely won't be able to know that I can do a, a video every week. Um, and that also then helps you build in this process of when you do know you're going to do a video every week and you know you're going to do it on Tuesday and you're going to edit it on Tuesday, then you can get it out to people on the Wednesday and your clients begin to know that they're gonna hear from you and you get to be consistent and you get to give them value, not just trying to sell your things all the time. They get to know that you're gonna be there and that you're reliable. And in the online space, that's gold dust because we don't necessarily know much about the people that we work with. Sure, we can um, scroll back and see how long their Instagram account's been on for, but we don't really know actually much about them at all and so if there's a, is a person who is showing up consistently and you can go back through and be like, actually, yeah, they've, they're around all the time. They've not just opened a new Instagram account. Okay, they've opened a new TikTok account or a new YouTube, but they've been active and they're consistent and they show up regularly and they don't just show up and sell, they show up and serve. They really care. They care about giving that added value. They do give great value. When I listen to them, I learn something. They're someone I'd actually recommend. And that's the thing too, isn't it? By being, being able to be in people's inboxes, there's a chance you're gonna get forwarded. If somebody's gonna read something and say, this is brilliant. People should be replying to you. You're engaging with people through the, your inbox. You're on social media, building this community and building this space and doing it in a way which is really streamlined and doesn't take your time. Because when you're trying to do it on the fly, it, it doesn't get done. And I can tell you firsthand, I know it doesn't get done when you're like, ah, I didn't write, I haven't written a caption for that graphic. You're not gonna post it because you're not in a position where you can. But if you know, that those blocks come up, you can be really, um, really, really efficient. And another thing that's really good is you can make sure you're not working all the time. You can make sure you're not just being busy for the sake of being busy. You can make sure that you um, have blocked in time to have lunch, time, um, my OBM calls it white space, time within the diary for when things go wrong, when clients need you, when things take longer than, than you expected them to. Um, and it can be really helpful. You may keep a print diary, but to also have a digital diary so you can drag and move things around. Um, and you don't have to share that diary with anybody. I have it colour coordinated on a Google Calendar um, so I can see it um, on my phone or on devices. Um, and then I have it, can see what I'm meant to be doing. You can see the times when you're meant to be showing up on camera um, so you can prepare and block similar things together times when you would then be on calls and things um, and making sure you're leaving that white space in for in case things go wrong or in case you want a break or um, making sure you fit, fit in the childcare or the dog has gone out for a walk or whatever it might be so you can have a peaceful time for doing certain tasks within your business. Okay, I really hope that this has been helpful. I would love to know if you have any more tips on this. If you've watched this and you're like, yeah, I think that's great Lucy but I do this let me know in the comments because this is also a great way that other people can find you by you commenting on these videos people can see you and your business so I actually invite you to, to comment and also to leave a link to your business um, I'd love to know who you are um, what you're doing um, so do please pop a comment let me know um, if you do any of these things in your business or if you might try them and any tips that you've got for anybody else too Okay, take care and I'll catch up with you next time.